Connie, day two of uh, back to train. How'd you find it? Yeah, it's been it's been good fun. Uh, always good to see the boys coming in, excited for training, and uh, boys trained well today and yesterday as well. So I guess we started off the right track. Everyone came back looking pretty well, especially myself too. So yeah, we're we're all happy to be back and see all the the, the other boys' faces. So yeah, good to be back amongst the boys, having a bit of a laugh. Yeah, always always good to get amongst them. Always see the two meter distance but it's always good to see the boys and have a laugh with them at the same time training with them as well so yeah in terms of building up to that first game on the 2nd of August uh, how, how are you approaching this short period of time before we're back in it yeah I think the boys like I said before the boys already come back a bit fit than we thought we were all gonna be but uh, we're just gonna work on our skills a little bit and getting our game plans obviously it's been nearly five months now we haven't touching the ball and trying to get those, those memories back of our calls and, and moves and stuff like that so I guess that's the, the main purpose we need to get back into it's just those little games getting into the, the the rugby fitness and the rugby speed as well so hopefully get, getting all those memories back and get back into it. We've talked for a while about the, the spirit of this team, the spirit of the Rhinos but that's certainly been demonstrated in the in the time we've been out where everyone's got around each other and, and kept each other going. Yeah, um, first of all it's, it's a big uh, the boys always look after everyone else. Obviously, I've had a, a big tragedy of my, of my mom this uh, couple of months, but the boys all got behind me, and even the clubs were, and all, all the fans have been great to me. Like that's just to show how how our spirit. We always look after one another, and whoever's got something in themselves, we we'll always get around them. And like I said before, we we all come in today or oh, yesterday. Everyone's excited to be back because we miss our. our our bonding and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's good to be back. So and it'll be strange those open couple of rounds behind closed doors, no fans. There, you're someone who, who thrives off that. Yeah, we're gonna, obviously we're going to miss our fans. We've missed our fans last five months, and I guess we're in, in Super League. Our fans are the best to be. To be fair, uh, they always turn up. Obviously, we had a, a really tough year last year, and they still turn up. Fill fill the stadium in the first couple of games this, this year. Uh, it'll be it'll be, it'll be a bit weird. I guess no one has ever played with no crowd so I guess it'd be weird but at the same time at the same time it'd be good to focus on ourselves, focus on how we play and, and to get ourselves back into it when, when the thing comes, get to give them a bit of cheer and a bit of help and hopefully we'll keep winning till then. So yeah. And whilst the fans can't be there, the, the club talks about memberships and, and fans being able to, to donate their money to support the club and, and the vast majority of fans are doing that and, and keeping the money invested so it's incredible especially when people are going through tough times yeah it's it's crazy um i guess that's why why we do this because we love our fans and like you like you just said what they've given us obviously they, they can't come watch the game they still pay for their tickets especially the members and they still want to donate for the boys and for the club to keep going and it's crazy and the boys appreciate it to be honest we all love it and that's why we're, we're training here, we're training hard to, to get the wins, to give back to you guys. And, and hopefully soon we'll get to see you guys in the south stand and to, to fill up the stadium as well to, to cheer us on. So, yeah.